Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. We've got a game with Tim and Sam. Tim can play up or down, Sam can play left or right. The payoffs are shown in these four cells where the first number refers to Tim's payoff, the second number to Sam. This game does not have a pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going to go through that in this video, but what we're going to do primarily with this video is just how to find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. And it will involve some calculus. So the first thing I want to do is to find some probabilities. The probability that Tim plays up, I'm just going to call it U. Therefore, the probability that Tim plays down is going to be given by 1 minus U. For Sam, the probability that Sam plays left is just going to be L. So the probability that Sam plays right is going to be 1 minus L. The next thing I want to do is assign probabilities to these four cells or these four outcomes. So the probability that the game ends up in this first quadrant here, which is up left, is just going to be the probability that Tim plays up multiplied by the probability that Sam plays left. So as I show down here, the probability of this UL outcome or 2-1 outcome is U times L, the probability that Tim plays up multiplied by the probability that Sam plays left. Now we can do the same idea for the other three cells. So for example, the probability of a UR outcome or this 0-4 outcome where Tim gets 0 and 4 Sam is going to be the probability of up, which is u, multiplied by the probability of right, which is 1 minus l. So the probability of getting this outcome 0, 4 is given by u multiplied by, in parentheses here, 1 minus l. And for the remaining two cells here in this bottom row, it's going to be the same idea. The probability of getting a dl outcome or this 0, 1 outcome is going to be the probability that Tim plays down multiplied by the probability that Sam plays left, or this. And then finally, the probability of a DR outcome, or 3, 0 outcome, where Tim gets 3 and Sam 0, is just going to be the probability that Tim plays down, 1 minus U, times the probability that Sam plays right, 1 minus L. So once we've done all of that, now it's a time to maximize the expected payoffs for Tim and Sam. So we're going to do that separately. So we're going to maximize Tim's expected payoff. So once again, Tim is choosing up with a probability of U or down with a probability of 1 minus U. So I'm reminding ourselves here that Tim's choice variable is going to be U. So here's Tim's expected payoff. Where did this come from? So what we're doing here is we're looking at these four cells. Okay, So the probability, for example, of this cell happening where we get an up left is given by u times l. And then I'm multiplying it by 2. Why 2? Well, that's what Tim would get if up left occurred. So this result right here is a probability we get up left multiplied by Tim's payoff, which is 2. Then we do that for the other four cells. So there's a probability we could get up right, which is given by this expression. What is Tim's payoff from an upright outcome? Well, it's just 0, the first number, and we put that in there. We do this for the remaining two cells. The probability of getting Tim playing down and Sam playing left is given by this expression. What is Tim's payoff in this case? Zero. And then finally, for the last outcome, the probability of getting down right is 1 minus u times 1 minus l, as we already talked about before. What is Tim's payoff? Three. So that's where the three is coming from. So once we do that, I think it's best to probably simplify this expression. So just multiplying things through, and you're left with this. So what we want to do now is we want to maximize Tim's expected payoff. 
So we're going to use a little bit of calculus here. We're going to take the partial derivative of this expression with respect to Tim, Tim's choice variable, which is u. So I did that here. We set that result equal to zero. We're trying to maximize after all. And then we're going to just solve here for our unknown, which is L. So L equals three-fifths, meaning that R equals one minus L or two-fifths. So what we learned here is that Sam, now this is not for Tim, Sam who plays left or right, Sam should randomly play left three-fifths of the time and right two-fifths of the time. Okay? So Sam should randomly play left three-fifths of the time and right two-fifths of the time. So now we want to do the same thing here, but this time we want to maximize Sam's expected payoff. So let me do that by showing you this expression. So it's pretty much the same thing, except the numbers here are going to represent Sam's payoffs, the number after the comma. So maybe let me do this here. So again, once again, uh, the probability that we get an up left outcome is given by u times l. We've already defined that over here. What is Sam's payoff from a u times uh, from a, a up left outcome? The second number is one, so that's where the one's coming from. Another possibility is we get an up right outcome. The probability of that is u times one minus l. What is Sam's payoff? Second number four, so that's where the four is coming from. And we do that for the other two cells. The probability of getting down left is one minus u times l. What is Sam's payoff? The second number of one, that's where the one's coming from. And then finally here, the probability of the down right outcome is given by this expression. What is Sam's payoff when down right occurs? Just zero. So I'll do what I did before. Let me make this bigger now. I will simplify this by multiplying things through and then take the partial derivative. Here, Sam is choosing left or right, so his choice variable is going to be left. So we take the partial derivative of this expression with respect to L, set it equal to zero, solve for the unknown. So u equals one-fourth, d equals one minus one-fourth, or three-fourths. So what we learned here is that Tim should randomly play up one-fourth of the time and down three-fourths of the time. So the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium is going to be one where Tim randomly plays up one-fourth of the time, meaning he'll play down three-fourths of the time, while Sam will randomly play left three-fifths of the time, and write two-fifths of the time. Hope you found this video helpful.